how to pass the Google Cloud Professional Data Engineer exam. This video covers the most recent exam syllabus. Maybe you have Googled the above title, but no worries, you have arrived on the best video that will guide you through this journey. These days, data is a rare commodity and I'm going to manage to manage. You know, it is much needed with an increased need for data engineers by companies that own a lot of data in exabytes, zettabytes, and yottabytes to help implement business decisions. In this guide, I will visualize an idea on what the exam should look like and how to get prepared for success. Hey, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel for data science career path updates. My background. I'm um, having graduated with a master's degree in computer and information science in the USA. I spent some years working in the data analytics career path. This was the first time I was exposed to the role of a data engineer and the cloud and the Google Cloud platform. One of the technical solutions to the business requirements was using BigQuery as our serverless data warehouse to enable scalable analysis over petabytes of data. Also supporting fast querying of nested rows using the familiar standard SQL syntax. Furthermore, allowing simple integration with other Google Cloud products such as Data Studio, Analytical Reports, and AI platform for machine learning. As at that time, I was very curious to know job responsibilities of a data engineer. Data engineers provision and set up data platform technologies that are on-premises and in the cloud. They also manage and secure the flow of structured and unstructured data from multiple sources. So mostly, building data pipelines and making data accessible for analysts that query and manipulate data. Exam preparation resources for the Google Cloud Professional Data Engineer exam. One, Linux Academy. Um, the course Google Cloud Certified Professional Data Engineer costs $49 per month with one week free trial. You know, helpfulness is about nine over 10. And this course is very helpful and covers about 70% of the content that came up in the exam. This course also offers a combination of presentations, hands-on labs, and demos. This course provides a high-level overview of each Google Cloud service and covers key concepts as well as Google's best practices for utilizing each one. The course was well-structured, beginning from foundational concepts to the different types of databases, architects and pipelines, machine learning, and data visualization. There are a variety of hands-on labs walkthroughs and quizzes that help consolidate your understanding and provide an opportunity to test the material you've learned in the videos directly on the Google Cloud platform. I recommend taking this course first if you're, if you're new to data engineering as it is a bit easier to understand than the Coursera course. If I were to recommend just one paid subscription, this would be the one. Paying for a monthly subscription is worth the price not only do you get access to the amazing resources on the GCP course, but you also have full access to all other courses offered by Linux Academy, which I used. Just a side note, Linux Academy will be launching the platform called A Cloud, a -Cloud Guru, but will retain its presence and updated training on its Linux Academy platform. Number two, Coursera. Um, the course in Coursera Data Engineering with GCP Professional Certificates costs $49 per month with one week free trial. Helpfulness is 7 over 10. Coursera is an online MOOC, offer a combination of presentations, hands on labs, and demos. I found this course to be quite advanced for, some, for someone without any prior commercial experience. I wasn't aware of current technologies such as those in the Hadoop ecosystem and was overwhelmed with many unfamiliar terminologies. However, I highly recommend taking the preparing for the Google Cloud Professional Data Engineer exam course about a week or two before taking the examination. This is like the revision lecture at the university where they did a quick overview of the key scenarios you expect to see in an exam. Number three, Cloud Academy. Um, course in the Cloud Academy is um, Google Data Engineer exam, professional certification preparation. It costs um, $49 per month and one week free trial. Helpfulness is about 8 over 10. The most useful part of this course was it covered topics such as security and networking, 
data encryption and compute engines which were not covered in other courses but can be tested according to the official exam syllables. I found the hands-on labs a bit harder and more copy-pasting long lines of pre-written commands. Some of the areas I recommend you should study or look out for videos are Big Query Machine Learning, Cloud Key Management and Data Encryption, Kafka, Fellover Replica. Make sure to subscribe to this channel for your career growth in data science. Also watch till the end of this video for free resources on exam prep questions. Your study strategy. We all have different study patterns and approach to visual learning. I would recommend choosing what works best for you. Hands-on practice. Not having experience using the Google Cloud Platform, I recommend you practice with the hands-on labs and quick labs. Also, I recommend you do not memorize how to get each task done, but implement as an opportunity to familiarize yourself with the service and the overall GCP environment. With Linux Academy subscription, you get access to the Cloud Soundbox, where you can receive guest user credentials to use GCP for 3 hours per session. You can still gain valuable practice without breaking your wallet by using this Cloud Sandbox or by creating a free GCP account, about $300 free credits, and following the task instructions for the hands-on labs on Coursera or Quick Labs. On Quick Labs, you are essentially paying to use the GCP environment for a fixed time. I highly recommend you practice the hands-on labs, read the official Google Cloud documentation, Though it's unrealistic to read the whole documentation, but I recommend you read the documentation for the topics covered in the online videos. Also try as many times practice questions before the official exam. Most important part of the practice questions of your revision is to make a note of all the questions you failed and review them again once more. Here are some extra free practice questions. Um, you can view the the links pasted on this video. Um, for the GCP exam, the exam consists of 50 questions and you have 2 hours to complete exam. Registration fee is $200. There is a bookmark feature where you can bookmark questions for later review. Preferably, I would say the exam is about 20-25% to harder than the practice exam or practice questions. Many of the questions can cost a lot of self doubts such as the cost versus performance trade-off. My advice is to pace yourself and don't waste so much time on the question. If you don't know the answer or unsure about your answer, bookmark it and move on to the next question. I would advise you do not panic if you are unable to answer all questions your first time. I had a hitch on first few questions and then bookmark few questions for later review. Finally, great to see you made it this far. I believe this video has been helpful and provided confidence for you in getting prepared for this exam. You can pass this exam without industry experience and prepare for it from a basic knowledge of cloud concepts. When you complete the exam, you will only receive a pass or fail result. I mean, we only pass. Once you have passed, you get an email with a redemption code for an exclusive Google Cloud certified store which has a lot of swag, like t-shirts, backpacks, hoodies, etc. You will also get an invite to join the Google Cloud Certified Private Community. Hey, feel free to reach out to me for any additional information and hit the subscribe button.